As farmers struggle through the drought, a drought-tolerant crop could be just the thing they need. Central Queensland growers have trialled the first Australian commercial crop of black sesame seed. On a family-owned property near Rockhampton, an Australian first is in the making. A commercial crop of black sesame seed is being harvested. Just the results we've seen just with a quick run of the header now, it looks to, be, uh, looks to have performed really well. Australia currently imports all of its black sesame seed. It's mainly used to create cooking oil, but it can also be used for food flavouring and cosmetics. Peter Foxwell has traditionally grown cotton, corn, sunflowers and wheat. But drought is something he's had to live with and developing a product that can cope during dry times is a key part of this trial. Sesame is uh, considered to be one of the most drought tolerant crop uh, in the world. Last summer was Queensland's warmest on record and only 120 millimetres of rain was recorded at this central Queensland property. So to our surprise and to the surprise of the growers, um, we have been able to see a very attractive crop. The trial is being led by a nearby university, Rockhampton Regional Council and a specialised seed technology company and it has drawn overseas interest. We can take them to Turkey and uh, produce them for our market, for our neighbouring countries and also uh, 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 continue producing here and uh, because you are close to the biggest market like China, India. This harvest will be used to test quality and seed next year's crop. A, a tonne of seed would, would be able to plant around about a thousand acres um, of, of a black sesame. So it, it creates a, an enormous potential very quickly. What's happening here is an Australian first, but if things go to plan, it could be the start of a new industry for Australian farmers. Rachel McGee, ABC News, Rockhampton. And you can see more on that story on Landline Sunday at 12.30 and on iView. And for more stories on the drought, head to abc.net.au slash drought.